Good morning, everyone. It's Penelope. It is Thursday. It is my second day off work, and I wanted to kind of update you. I did not come on yesterday. I was actually kind of lazy, um, and I found out that there were no Kroger ads. Um, it is all online, so I did look at it. Things really haven't changed except for meat produce. I don't know if the milk um, prices have changed or you know the egg prices have changed any, but um, there is no like special weekend deal, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or anything like that. That's not happening. Um, I think that's a pretty smart thing. Um, what that would do is cause shoppers to come in on those days and kind of, you know, make the population in the store bigger. So I think that's a really good idea not to do that. Um, I do have an update from my employer, and I think it is a good update this time. <laughs> Thank God, right? Okay, so my employer has decided to follow something that the government is telling businesses. Now, what they're doing is they are trying to get businesses to go ahead and pay their employees out of their payroll, and then they will be reimbursed um, from that eventually. So, my employer did give us another newsletter thing again. Um, and this is, I'm just going to give you a few of the things. We have decided that we will commit to full pay for everyone for up to two weeks if they meet the criteria of the new sick pay law. And there, there is a list of things, you know, if you're off work due to this, you know, if you're sick due to this, if you're being in the testing process due to this, you know, caring for an individual or no daycare because of this, he is going to pay t up to two weeks of our pay to us if we are shut down for two weeks. Now, if we are shut down um, for the two weeks and then it goes above, then we would have to file for unemployment. And I think this is very, very smart for um, this to take place because it's not going to flood the unemployment. It will allow companies to be reimbursed as the government starts to put these stimulus packages in place. So I think that is a fantastic thing that he has done. And it says, regardless of the government decision, my offer for two weeks at full pay will stand firm. So, you know, I was pretty happy to see that. That made me happy. And he did come around Tuesday and kind of talk to everybody. He looked absolutely worn out. He's been up and dealing with, you know, the business side of this, of course, and um, taking care of, of that. So not a bad bad thing. However, um, I do know that I am still have to go in on Monday. Um, in that department that I work is shipping. And, um, you know, we're still going to have trucks coming in. We've got trucks going out. Maybe. I don't know. So what we will do is find out if we're actually going in on Monday or if they are going to make it mandatory for us not to. Um, I just, I'm just glad that, you know, we don't have to file for unemployment, and I hope everyone is doing well. Now, an update on me, um, I still don't know if I have that crud or my normal crud, but I still can't taste or smell anything. Um, I'm not running a fever. I do feel a little tired, but that's just me, I think. I'm just fatigued all the time anyway, um, just with some of the other things that are wrong with me. I've got a lot wrong with me. It's not just all mental. Most of it is. Mm. So yesterday I really didn't accomplish a whole lot. Um, that is my fruit cocktail vinegar start. It has pears, apples, grapes, and an orange in there. So hopefully we'll have some homemade vinegar in a few weeks. Pretty excited about that. Um, chicken spaghetti is made for today. Um, that should last in the rest of the week. Um, yesterday I made a beef roast, one of the beef roasts that I got, fairly cheap the other day, last time I went to Kroger. Um, I put some Brussels sprouts, onions, celery, potatoes, carrots, and some wonderful things in there. I don't know how it tasted, but the texture was good. Okay, so yesterday I did go and buy some plants. Now something I wasn't aware of is that greenhouses are considered a non-essential business. Did not dawn on me, so I pulled up into our greenhouse, walked out, and the door said closed to the crud um, until April 7th. I'm like, okay. 
So instead, I did drive all the way to Walmart. And if you drive into the Walmart parking lot, you know that the lawn and garden section has an outside entrance where it's got the chain link area. All I did was pull up, walk in, take a look around, get back in my car, and go over to Rural King, walked around their parking lot where they had some plants, picked up some um, red leaf lettuce, some red cabbage plants, and some Brussels sprouts. I normally would not buy red cabbage, but what the heck. So that's what I've got going on. Today I'll be planting some planters and working in my garden. I am going to sow some seed today. Um, I'm going to use my broke down truck and my non-essential car as greenhouses right now to start my plants. Um, the way they sit, they should get some heat and some sun in there, and that's where I'm going to put my seed trays. I don't know if it'll work or not, but I'm going to utilize them because they, they're going to heat up. It's going to be really, really bright, and hopefully that will pop out some seeds in a few days, weeks. I don't know. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I need to clean out the chicken coop. My girls are all out by the fence right now wanting some breakfast. I have not fed them yet. Um, I'm trying to get them into a, the same routine that they've been in. So I'm letting them run and then feeding them when I put them up. But they're out there begging. <laughs> so I have to do that. What else am I going to do? Um, well, I don't know. I'm not going to do any online shopping. All I know is... This is really hard on me. Oh, I'm working on laundry. I'm working on that right now so that my husband can do his laundry in the next few days. I'm going to finish up mine today. Um, and of course, my laundry does consist of towels, washcloths, linens, things like that. So we're going to try to finish that up today. I'm going to cook something else fantastic, but I don't know what because I can't taste it. You all have a great day. Just wanted to give you a little update on what's going on here. And I might come on live today. I don't know. I think that would be fun. Do an isolation live day just to see how y'all are doing and to be able to converse with you all. Um, I miss so many of you that do not watch my videos anymore. But I don't know why. You all have a great day. Remember, when we get up to 700, there will be a giveaway on this channel. And I know that you all will love it. Um, so... Hugs from a distance. See you all later. Have a great day. Stay safe. Bye.